Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another vacuum cleaner review from me, Steve, and uh, today we're going to be talking about um, the Vax Mac Air. Now this machine I bought um, a couple of years ago now, just after they first came out um, in Argos. Uh, this was on special offer at the time and uh, I picked this up for about £120 and uh, to be quite honest it's, uh, it's one of the best fax machines I've ever used and uh, I've been uh, very impressed with it. This machine is actually um, one of their most successful machines to date. The amount of these they've sold is quite incredible. Um, this is the total home version. They did uh, the reach version as well, which I think has been their most popular cleaner ever. If you look at the Argos catalogue now, the Argos website, there's over a thousand reviews on it, and uh, that's pretty good going. <laughs> so, what is it about this machine that makes it so popular? Well, it has quite a few uh, good points, this machine does. And uh, the first of which is its size. When I stood, when I stand next to it here, you can uh, you can see just how small this machine is, and it's very lightweight as well. This being the top of the, one of the top of the range models, Total Home, at the time, means it came with all the uh, accessories and uh, the extended length uh, hose, and it had the extended length cable. But even so, with all these attached to the machine. It still doesn't weigh much more than five and a half kilos. It's extremely light. Very, very light machine. Okay. If we get down, go through it in my uh, usual way. Start from the top down and uh, see what this cleaner has to offer. The first thing we notice is that uh, it does have an extended telescopic wand and handle. And that is achieved by pressing down on this, and you can move that up, or down, or anywhere in between, to suit, just like so. On the back here you have a cord uh, retaining clip, to wrap your cord round, keep it out of the way when you're going along, which I like to see. Uh, the top of the handle actually doubles up as um, an extension one for your hose. So it has the hole in the top here. It's also fully removable by doing so to make a very, very lightweight telescopic wand. Like so. Fits very easily back into position. On the side here, we have what that's called the, uh, the stretch hose, the extension hose there which is supplied on the uh, Total Home and the Reach models. Um, I don't think it was on the uh, PET models or on the base models. I think the, uh, the only two models that got this were the, the Reach and the Total Home. But it's a very useful thing to have because when you put this on it, it'll stretch pretty much all the way up the stairs with that on. You don't have to have it clipped onto the side of the cleaner. You could leave that uh, you know, in the cupboard and only get it out when you need to do the stairs and that makes the cleaner even lighter to pick up, not having that on the side. On the back here, you've got the uh, standard Vax 3-in-1 multi-tool, which is a uh, combined crevice tool, as such, and the top here will convert either way. One side makes an upholstery brush and the other side makes a dusting brush. Very useful. My personal preference though is for the three separate tools, but uh, they did this for lightness, so it all clip onto the back of the machine. Um, on the back here, we have the, the, the cable, which is, on this machine, a full 10 metres. So, just like the Reach model, this model will stretch the distance. I'll just uh, wrap that now. Over there, so I shall plug it in and push it around a little bit later on. 
cable comes out of the machine halfway up here, which is better than some of the boxes where it comes out down the bottom. So we can have that uh, just wrapped around out of the way on the top of there. Very nice. Put the cable straight. So with the cable off and the extension hose off, it's even lighter now. So that's probably around about five kilos. So uh, it's uh, an ideal machine for the elderly or the infirm, or if you just like a light cleaner. Um, on the side, we have two switches. One is the main on and off switch that turns the suction motor on and off from the main machine. And the other switch here is the brush roll on off switch, override switch, which you can press to disable the brush roll so you can use it on hard floor. You have the bin. Now, this is a fully multi cyclonic machine. It has a bottom drop, like so, for emptying. Filter access is very easy. You just take the top off, like so. Allows you to take your pre motor filter out there, which is fully washable. It's a sponge filter. Um, I did find on this machine, after quite a bit of use, that uh, this doesn't get actually too dirty, it stays relatively clean. It's a very, very effective multi-cyclonic uh, separator in this machine. It actually does a good job. We can take that out here, like so, so that uh, you can either tip the bin out like that, or you can do your bottom drop there, because while this stops as well, by tipping it like that means that uh, you can get all the dirt that uh, traps around the shroud as well. This is very easily uh, disassembled for cleaning. All we need to do is just turn that like a bayonet, remove it down, and then that will come off, like so, to reveal the inside there, which you can uh, wash down. You can also wash the inside of the shroud out there, as well the dirt congregates. Mm, very good design, I like that. Here we can see the uh, the multi-cyclones here, the entrances all the way around the top, where the dirt goes in, to be spun around inside here, and all those those cyclones uh, come down here and end up in this uh, central dirt collector tube. So it's uh, it's pretty efficient at uh, doing what it's supposed to do in uh, filtering out the dirt and not uh, clogging the filter. Let's just uh, put that back in. It's easy to reassemble again if not dirty, but then again we know that bagless cleaners now you have to be prepared to get your hands dirty from time to time because they do need maintenance although I think on this one being the multi-cyclonic and an efficient one as well is that the filter maintenance won't quite be so often and I can vouch for that as well because I've used this and tried it out the filter just pops nicely back in here clicks in, top there, goes back on, and I think back specify uh, a three month uh, filter wash schedule on this machine, but personally I would always check it every few weeks just to make sure, make sure there's no uh, blockages or clogs in there. Okay, just move that to one side. Underneath we have the uh, post motor filter, which is very easy to remove. That just clicks from the bottom here, lifts out, and there we can see the filter. This is not a washable filter. It's a lifetime filter. Uh, Vax just say to uh, tap it out on the bin. But uh, all this is really, I mean, if you, as long as you keep that top filter clean in there, all this should have is very, very fine dust on here and uh, the carbon dust from the motor. That's all this is really uh, going to be filtering out. So it's not really a filter that you need to worry about uh, too much, this one. Just pop that back in. You click it in position. Inside here is where your main motor is there. 1200 watt suction motor. And this one, I think it's 1200 watts anyway. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it's 1200 watts. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Not a power guzzler, although these are now 
These are now in the process of being re-released um, in the Argos uh, website. So we're now in uh, mid-July and uh, the new season comes out very shortly and they're going to be bringing out a new range of these. The, um, the Air Range Eco, which has a slightly different floor head to this and uh, a very low wattage motor. It's going to be very eco for the new uh, EU regulations. They're going to be AAA rated, which means they're going to be A, a rated on energy, which means about a 700 odd watt motor. A rated on carpet pickup and A rated on hard floors. And that's pretty good going actually for a small motor. But for the purposes of this demo, we're talking about the older version here, which uh, she's been on the market now for quite some time, as I say. You still get them, they're still available in Argos at the, uh, the time of making this video. But uh, I doubt they will be for much longer until stocks go. But uh, there's always loads and loads and loads of these floating around on eBay, so uh, I'd imagine you'll be able to get these for months and months and months after. And they do make good buys. Very, very good. So, if we just put this back on the side, the extension hose. Actually, no, what we do, we just uh, show you the standard hose here first. It plugs into the bottom of the machine down here, which some people have complained about, saying it's a bit awkward, but. Uh, if that is light to pick up, you can just pick it up, pull it out. That uh, will extend out, like so, just like this. So it's um, a reasonably short hose on its own. It will be sufficient though for just doing around your uh, sofa in there or anywhere near the cleaners. You can just pick it up and carry it around with you. But if you do need to go up the stairs, you can just clip this extension on and then will stretch right over here, the other side of the room. What's the matter with my cat? <laughs> She's going to make an appearance, I think. You're going to go out. There we go. Yes, you don't mind hoovers, do you? Not, you're not bothered. My pussy there. Yes. I heard from a kitten. Never bothers at all about my vacuum cleaner, she doesn't. There we go. So, you get a nice long hose with it as such. And uh, she's one of the reasons there why I need cleaners on a regular basis because she leaves pet hairs everywhere. And that brings me on to another point here. For pet hair, you get the uh, Vax Turbo Tool supplied with this, a standard. And uh, it's very good for doing your upholstery when. Uh, Naughty little cats jump on there and leave their fur everywhere, which they inevitably do. I know she likes to sleep on the back of the chair. You also get the uh, poultry nozzle with it, like so. You only get that with the Total Home version. That just plugs onto the end of the hose. And then you can, I suppose you do your mattress with it, like so. You can use it for your upholstery. This did come, as well, with um, a flexi, flexi crevice tool, but I don't know where that's gone. I seem to have lost it. I was looking everywhere for it, but I can't find what happened with that. I never really use it, to be quite honest. But it does, it does come with one of those. So that's the uh, stretch hose there. We plug that in down the bottom. The uh, multi tool has its uh, fix in here on the very back of the machine, like so. Just fits in nicely like that. Uh, what else can we say about it? Right, the underneath, this is your brush roll here. I'll just bring it up to the camera as I do in other videos to uh, show the base there. What we get? It's a full length miniature brush roll, miniature diameter with um, long bristles on. They're not the, um, they're not the, what's the word I'm looking for now? They're not the stiffest of bristles, they're not the softest, they're sort of somewhere in between. But they do a good job of sweeping the carpet. What, en what ends up in the bin there is what it picks up and uh, I usually do find it does a pretty good job. There underneath you also got your wheels. For use on hard floor. Nice uh, large back wheels that glide nice and easily over the carpets. I did find they were a bit stiff when I first had it so I had to put a few drops of oil on the axle there to loosen them off. But, uh, there we go. One well, of the other things with this, when we're looking at uh, the floor head here, 
is that you also get on here a um, status light there which glows red or green depending on what this brush is doing. Now normally that will be on green when the brush roll is operating at all the times the brush rolls on. If it gets jammed on anything or it draws in something large that stops the brushes from going round, the motor will cut out and this will flash red. In which case then you'd have to pull, turn the machine off, pull your um, obstruction out, turn the machine back on again, recline it so that this light flashes again and then press the side there, you've got a brush bar reset button, you press that while that red light's flashing and it'll come on green again and the motor will start. Okay. Um, also, what it has was two clips on the side of here, one there and one there. And when we remove those, like so, one, two, come on, come on, come off, that will then remove your top of there, the brush roll, and that will enable you then to get really good access to get all the hairs and everything off the brush roll there and clean it all off. So I think that's a very, very useful feature on this, which hasn't been continued onto the Air 3 series. They didn't do that on the Air 3. You had to start taking screws out of the base to be able to get access to it. I don't know whether this is going to be the same on the, on the new um, Air range that's coming out, the ones with the fixed wheels like this, the one without the swivel neck. But I think that it was actually a very good uh, little feature to have. And it clips back on, dead easy, like so. There we go, back on. That really was a good thing to do. It's also got a, um, a twin air channel on the base here as well. You've got a channel for the suction going to this side and a channel going to that side. And you can see that on the underneath of the cleaner. You have your um, suction going in here in the center and it branches off one direction there to this side and one direction to that side. Because obviously you've got your uh, belt in the middle here it has to have a suction port this side and a suction port that side. And I think uh, that also is a very good design. Um, so yeah, that is a separate brush roll motor, as I say. It's a twin motor machine, so that um, when you're using the tools and the accessories, you don't have to have this uh, brush roll constantly going round on the carpet. So consequently, you're just using it like a little cylinder cleaner. Okay. So, if we just uh, plug it in and uh, give it a push round, hear what it sounds like in use. I will just put this back on the side. Show you what happened, show you it with the uh, hose and this and this going in a sec. We'll just have it uh, going round first on the carpet. Yeah, that's very, very, very light and easy to push around. There is no um, having to struggle with this machine. 
I don't think it uh, really aggressively grooms the pile because it's only got a small brush roll there, but it still does an acceptable job. It'll pull that dirt and uh, remove cat hairs and everything, which is what you want it to do. It's like, you know, some machines can be like tanks to move around, you know, you're going to need massive arm muscles this big to push them across the carpet. Not with this one. It's a 1200 watt, as I say, and uh, very lightweight. So, now when we want to use the hose, what we can do is pick it up, disconnect it. So you, you don't have to bend down, you just lift the cleaner up and pick it up like that. So I notice some people say, you know, you have to bend right down to the floor. Not if you pick the machine up. We can turn the extension hose on, like that. And then we can uh, remove this. And then we plug it in, into the end, so it clicks. And on this machine, it's a very, very secure fitting on there. That won't pull off. Then what we can do, have our rod, whichever length we want, put the turbo brush on the end, and then to clean my uh, cat hairs up and off the sofa there we can just turn it on. like so. So that's a very useful thing to have there, the uh, mini turbo brush. And uh, also you can put your mattress nozzle on the end of it just like that, do the same. Or we can have the three in one, have the dusting brush there, stick that on the end. That will then give you a very 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 good reach. A fully extended rod like that. And uh, we can go all the way up, right up to the roof, right around the thing, around the skirt, about around the coving higher, uh, up the here, and get the cobwebs off. So it's got absolutely enormous, enormous reach. Really, really, really does. That will easily go up your stairs with that with that stretch hose like that. Like I say, you don't have to have the tools on the end of the rod like this. You can put them on the right and just attach them to the end of the hose. Pop that back in there. We can push that there nicely onto the end of there. Like that. Same goes for the turbo brush. That will fit nice and secure onto the end of there. And the mattress nozzle, again, same thing. And then when we're finished with it, disconnect it, pop it in the holder, pull the cleaner up, and click that back in underneath there, just like so. Very, very easy. Uh, like I say, some people have complained about it being finicky and fussy, having to get right down there like that, but as I say, it's that light, all you've got to do is just pick it up and do that. I think, you know, it's um, it's a very, very good machine, this is. It's very versatile, it's very lightweight, and uh, at the time, in fact, we're given six-year warranties with this machine. 
So uh, if, it break, if it broke down or developed a fault, they'd sort it out for up to six years. And as I say, I've had this for two years now. It's never been a problem. Never been a problem at all. You just uh, rewind the cable up here. can take a little bit of time to do because uh, there's such a lot of cable with this machine. So you, you can get the base versions of this, but um, they only have six metre cables. That's, uh, that's called the Mac Air base, and it comes in the, the grey and orange colour. That only has the short hose. It's like basically you've got the same setup as this, but it doesn't have the, this stretch hose with it, and it doesn't have the long cord. You know, and I've seen a lot of uh, people complain about that on the website as well, saying that you know it doesn't have a very long cord. Well, you're not paying for it. You know, that's that's how it comes. So there we go. That just clips on nicely onto the back there. You've got your little cable clip there. There we go. Very very compact little machine. And if you want to store it under the stairs or in a really small cupboard, just remove this. I mean, look how, how small that is now. And just keep that, keep that next to it, you know, like that. So it really will compact away nicely. Now, ratings wise, I would rate this machine very highly. I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's one of the best faxes I've ever used. And, uh, I'd give this, uh, I'd give this about a nine, ninety percent, nine out of ten. I'd also recommend it to anybody. It hasn't got the swivel on it like the Air Three, but to be quite honest, it's that nimble anyway and that versatile. Is that you don't really, you don't really have to have the swivel on the swivel neck. They've also just recently brought this out as a, uh, a battery powered version called the, the Air Cordless. It's not called the Mac, I don't think anymore. They don't use that Mac name anymore. Just the Air, the Vax Air. And they brought one, you put a battery pack on the front of here. And um, they supply two battery packs with it. It's very expensive at the moment uh, on their website, about £300, but uh, it's totally battery powered, no cable at all. It's, it's had reviews done uh, on Roger's channel, um, and he gives it a glowing review. Now, obviously, at the moment, I can't afford one of those, but um, maybe in the future, we'll just have to see. So there we go. That was my review there of the uh, the Vax Mac Air, the original Mac Air. Total home, still available in Argos. Go for a budget price at the moment, I think, because they're uh, selling them all off now with the new range coming in. But uh, yeah, very, very good, very, very good cleaner highly recommend it. So until next time I shall uh, see you again later.